Yo, welcome back. Uh, sorry, I know it's been a while. I uh, haven't posted anything. Uh, life got hectic. So I'm trying to get back into the uh, video. I do have, um, I did do another video on the plan of changing the, the thermostat housing, but uh, I haven't posted that. Uh, honestly, I, I kind of forgot about it because everything else going on. Anyway, so today is it's something simple. It's nothing to do with the element. I need to work on it really, really bad. Uh, it's got, uh, I noticed now it has a, uh, I think it's a transmission leak or power steering. Most likely it's power steering because it's all the way on the right side. So I got to dive into that to see what's wrong with it because it's, it's staining my concrete. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So uh, I have a friend's truck here today, a, a Tacoma. Another Tacoma. I got two Tacoma. What the hell? I got Toyotas here, <laughs> but it's fine. Um, uh, my friend's trailer is here. He's uh, he has to do some other stuff, so he asked to drop it off. Just leave it. I'm not working on it. He just wanted to drop it off, so he has somewhere to park it. Not a problem. But I have another friend's trailer here, a trailer Tacoma uh, that we got to put some rough country lights in. Let me show you guys that real quick. All right. So um, I think this is this switch maybe oh it's some, it looked like the hood mounts and then we have the uh, rough country now these lights are the lights that go on the, the top here of the hood uh, they just you know little small mounting lights um, I'm not 100% sure I never installed these I have seen them on Tacomas and other trucks but I absolutely have no idea how to install these whatsoever we go learn today all right so I got a few tools out right now uh, we're just gonna do some unboxing to see exactly what we have okay so yeah I was right these are the mounting brackets for the lights it goes under the hood I think like that and then the light sits here where it sits next to the a pillar so that's good though so, this will be the first thing to install. Yeah, they're pretty nice, real nice. Usually some of these things have, you know, metal uneven and but these are really nice. Alrighty, let's go to the box here to look at the lights. Rough country. Oh, these are, whoa, these are badass. Look at that. That is dope. And it's got little covers on it. Nice. That's sick. I like these. And these covers are stout. All right. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, these are mounting brackets. These, <laughs> these you actually bolt. If you was, uh, if you didn't have those mounting brackets, these are just. I guess you screw them right to the hood. Wire harness. Wire harness. <laughs> wire harness. Uh, it's got Deutsch connectors. Nice. These seals up very, very good. And then we have our other light here. So I'm going to put these, these will be the last thing to be installed. So we're gonna put those to the side and check out how our wiring is. Okay, we've got a nice RC rocker switch. Let's take this off. Uh, simple, super simple design. This negative and positive for the battery. You know, um, I thought maybe it had a, a relay, but I guess not. Maybe it's built, it may be built into this. This is a lot of wires. I'm not sure. It doesn't look like it has a relay. I guess because it's not probably drawing a lot of amps, you probably don't need it. But wow, this is a nice wire harness. I, I gotta say, they could have left off with the tape and just used shrink wrap, but 
Oh, they did on these ants. So that's good. I guess, well, these would be under the hood, so this is inside the car, so I guess it didn't matter. All right, so uh, I wanna get to this first, because this is gonna be the big thing. All right, so Dave wanted installed right here, but I, that looks a little bit small. Let's grab that light switch real quick. I'm pretty sure we probably could get it in there. Um, we're gonna have to do some, uh, no, actually, no, I actually like it. It's gonna work, but it's gonna look nice right there. And the other thing I noticed is that this doesn't unplug. Like, so I could run it through the firewall. I would have to unplug every, every individual. Oh. Well, I guess that makes it a little bit better to run it through. But I need to take a picture of this, so I'll be able to put it back. All right. All right, so we're going to go through the uh, main grommet harness. I'm not drilling <laughs> anything like that. I'm not. It's going actually, let me see if I can show you. It's actually off to the side um, of it. So it, it is still sealed, but it won't affect the uh, main harness. Uh, if you notice there, it's my little, uh, let me see, I'm trying to do this one hand. Um, I don't think you guys can, maybe you get, some of you guys probably can see it, but I have a screwdriver sticking out because I want to make sure that uh, it'll go through without a problem, without using any harsh methods to get next to those wires because it's about, about that far away from the harness. So I want to make sure it doesn't cause any problems uh, and it's easy to install and remove. So uh, let's see, the next thing is uh, I need to try to remove this. It probably just pops out. Uh, normally they just pop out. Let's see here. Uh, this one probably is it's not gonna pop out. Oh, there it goes. popped out and I can see the light in the back so it's gonna be easy to uh, run the wires but you guys won't you guys can't see the light through there uh, so let me run those wires through and get back on it so just in case you guys can know while I was talking about the screwdriver it's it's right there uh, let's see zoom let's see it's right here uh, let's see if we can get to it so it's just it's just right there and it's it's easy it's no no instructions or anything like that so that was my main concern out of out of everything to make sure that the uh, that wire harness don't get damaged or even come close uh, that's my main concern and the uh, the bracket they bolt to the hinge of the uh, hood so we're gonna one wire is gonna come out here, go there. The other one's gonna run along that wire harness and then up up into that light there. Okay, some people wanna know, I'm pretty sure they're gonna to wanna to know how to get the wire through without damaging anything. If you can have, get a long, the longest screwdriver you can find, prefer uh, a Phillips, cause it's more like a dagger uh, instead of a flathead, but this is what I have. <laughs> and you just, Get a piece of wire, any wire. I prefer just a little piece of wire, tape it on. And then what you're gonna do is push the wire through all the way and then you'll have a pull wire. Then you take the other end, uh, you take the other end of the wire and you're gonna attach the harness to it and tape it up and pull it all through nice and clean. So this is what I mean. Um, about taping the other end. So this wire here is going into the car and then I tape the main harness to this pull wire and hopefully we can pull it through. But my only concern is not, I'm gonna have to put more tape so it'll be nice and round type so it go through the hole really easy. So let's see here. I'm using my expensive tape too be doing that but 
need to make it more pointy. Got to make the rocket more pointy. Looks more scary. All right, so we're gonna try to pull that through like that. Worst case scenario, just pull it back out and try, try again. I should have um, just taken a harness to lose and staggered it. That's what I should have done. But we're gonna give it a shot and see. All right, so I was able to pull it through and it was like giving birth. <laughs> the grumman was like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? Let me see if I could get you guys a clear picture of that. Uh, kind of could see it down there. It was running next to that vacuum line. I think that's a vacuum line. And let's go under here and look. Let's see if you guys can see it here. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Let's see if I can hold it a little bit better. Let's get an idea. But. That's it there. Come on, get it, get it, get it. There you go. So it just comes right through there. And then we're gonna come up and come right through that hole there. All righty, so we got it in there. Uh, Let's see here. I just gotta take this tape off. Well, at least I thought it was gonna. I guess it don't fit. Oh man, I'm gonna have to do a little tramming. The little bit here and clean this up a little bit so we could get it in there. But this is the main part here first. Um, the next, we're just gonna go to the outside and, and do that wiring because that's gonna be the main, the main thing there. So let's just clean up here, get everything out. Let me double check everything down here. Okay, all that looking good. All right, so now we can get our harness laid out. So this is our battery side. I'm gonna lay that off to the side. And I believe these are equal length, yeah. Cause these, uh, the kit is universal, so it is what it is. The next one going over there, like so, like that, and then this one's going to go right here. Now I could cut this and make it to fit nice and clean but I kind of don't want to do that so I'm just gonna wrap it wrap it up and then go from there and also with the uh, battery connector I'm gonna wrap that up and go from there so uh, let's get the light brackets that goes over there and over there mounted so, all right, so we're gonna start on the uh, passenger side first. Just gonna rock there a little bit. I'm hoping it'll stay. Uh, don't damage the windshield. And then we're gonna get our nice bracket here. I believe it goes like that. Hmm. And 
don't tighten it because you're going to have to adjust it. But I want to make sure it does not hit the windshield. All right, so this is, um, so I left it loose so I can adjust it. Um, and I think that's how it goes. And let's see, we get the mounting bracket. So this is the bracket. Actually, I should have put the bracket on first. Huh. Let's see, I'm not sure if it goes that way. I'm gonna put it that way. We're gonna try it that way. Worst case scenario, just gotta take it back off. No biggie. Yeah, I should have. <laughs> I should have definitely. Uh, with the other one, I'm gonna put this on first. Because I see it's gonna be a, a little bit of a challenge. But we have our washer and a lock washer. Let's see if I can get this on there. Alrighty, go. Oh, gosh darn it. Sorry, I'm blocking you guys. <laughs> this is, I'm gonna have to take it back off, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Yeah, when you're doing these type of installs, everything has to stay loose. Then we're gonna get our light here. Uh, I'm not sure which way to go. And the other thing I hope, and it looks like I just did misalign the hood. God. So that's another thing you have to look at. All right, so. Now I wonder how are we going to route this without damaging the wire. Oh, I guess we go just like that. If it was, uh, I kind of want to, on a bracket, let me see if I can, guys can see this. I'm not sure if you can see this, but this uh, bracket right here, I kind of want to put the wire there and zip tie it. I think that would be the best. But we'll see. All right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> You're going to be mad at me. Uh, but I got, I got carried away. Once I started on that, uh, fixing that wire, I just kept going, kept going, and I didn't video none of it. But I'm going to show you everything that I did. Uh, so you can so you can actually see because it came out better than I am I imagine I'll, even on all even on my car it's not that good oh, my car is terrible I got wires hanging every well it was not that bad but you, you get the drift so let me show you guys real quick of what I did all right you already uh oh so, so you already know um, about the mounting brackets. Now I ran the wire. 
Let's see if I can show you guys. Sorry about the light. I ran a wire through there. I made a little cutout. Let me see if you guys can focus. Uh, through there, ran the wire. I, I, I honestly, um, I wanted to go under this cow, but the thing is, um, if the customer or Mr. Cooper, uh, if he has to replace this, he has to pull all this out. So I didn't want him to go through all that. So uh, I just ran it through here, down, and it's running along the firewall, which you can't even barely tell that it's running on there. And the reason, it, reason for that is because I use uh, factory tape. You kind of can see the wire, I think right there. You can kind of see it there. I'll probably put like right here. Kind of can see it. Um, but I put factory style tape uh, on there. And then it runs Zach with the other one. This one, this one's way like a, a million times easier. I mean, it was really, really easy. It, it was within seconds that I put that one on there because I mounted the light and everything to the bracket first and then put the, uh, and then installed the bracket. And the same thing, run the wire here, come along uh, right here, and it's tied up down there behind the harness so you really don't see anything. And then the power wire, uh, it's ran along here. Uh, let's see if we can adjust. And then it runs through and then right here. And then I have a uh, factory style OEM tape here to hold. I could just keep continue, but I want to be able to know that it's a red wire there. And also, let me pull this off. Yeah, I think it was on there. And just to this top bolt right here. This back on. I had a struggle with this last time. Okay, there we go. Nope. Come on. There we go. Get that under there. And then the same with the negative wire. So, as in under the hood, the wiring is totally done. It's 100% done, um, I believe. You kind of can see the connector over there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, let's see, focus. Yeah, you can see the little gray connector right there. But otherwise, you wouldn't even know that it was installed. And the second thing is that I didn't do that yet. I still have to uh, trim up the hole so the light can recess in there. But before I do that, I want to test and make sure that it's working properly. Let's get the hood closed. Make sure everything's not going to get interfered. Yeah, that law looks good. And then we can pop our covers off. Now they're not aligned whatsoever. Uh, we still have to uh, align them as best as that we could to uh, make sure that they're they're looking forward. All right. Yeah. So that's the. Uh, I believe that's the high beam. And that's the low beam. Uh, low beam. Uh, so it has a low. Oh, it has little lights. I didn't notice that. I thought it was just. Okay, so it has a, a, a like six LEDs. You can barely see it. Like you can barely see it. But to me, it's it's you, it's kind of bright. But on the camera, it doesn't it doesn't show whatsoever. So like I said, I still need to be adjusted. All right, I think it'll go in now. Ah, there we go. There we go.
Alrighty, that's that's it. I gotta tuck some wires underneath real quick. All right, so I want to show you guys the wire tuck uh, underneath. Let's see if I can. Um, so that's that's the wiring is coming down, and then it's coming across to right right there. So this wire here is going up to the switch. So it's nice and clean out the way. It just basically loops down. Let me see, hold on. It just loops down and then goes back up. But the grommet is nice and sealed. Um, so it's not gonna, nothing gonna come through there. And then the, the rocker switch. Hold on, let me see if I can get you guys over. Sorry for the sunlight. And then our rocker switch is in, clean, no damage whatsoever. And you got your high beam off and then low beam. And it lights up and you can't see it right now, but in a high beam, I noticed, let's see. Yeah, it lights up. In the low beam, the RC lights up. Uh, I think I might have that backwards, <laughs> but I know it lights up. <laughs> okay. I grew up in a place where they told you what to chase, told you how to run the race. Every move was on the page, but I didn't like their way. I had to fight and misbehave. To find a way to change, I had to leave to find my way. Caught up in a daydream, I beat my mind up there almost. Every All right, that is it. It was actually harder washing it than install those lights. <laughs> it was it was way harder. Uh, uh, underestimate the height, but I had the little step thing. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any any questions? I will link the parts um, the parts we used today down in the description. And let us know, let me know if you have any questions, please comment, like, and subscribe. Until then, I will see you guys next time. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even